What you guys got another video here for you on how to fix the blue screen of death in Windows. I'll show you how to troubleshoot it and how to find out whether it's a hardware or software issue and how to go about generally, uh, you know, detecting what this blue screen means. So let's go ahead and take a look at a blue screen. What we got here, this one is black because it is uh, created by myself. But if we look down on the bottom there, you will see a stop code which is a code that is given for this blue screen of death. And it will mean that this uh, stop code is being created by some sort of uh, driver issue or some sort of software or maybe hardware. So first off, let's go to event viewer, open up event viewer inside your search and open up this uh, program here. And we can take a look at how we can detect what this blue screen is. So this is the first place you wanna sort of look here you want to go into Windows Logs here and check System. Inside the System area, this will give you all the information about how the system is behaving and what is actually causing the crash. It will give you the time, the source, and the event ID and everything else inside here. And it will give you the level of uh, crash for the system. So you can see here it's called error. Now you may see loads of errors, warnings and things in here. Don't panic too much. We're just interested in this one here, which says error and it gives us the date and the time. Remember the date and time when you got the blue screen. If it's a blue screen, it will say bug check right here. And you'll see uh, an event ID code called 1001 here. So they're the things you want to look for. Now down in the bottom of the general area here, this is going to give you some useful information about troubleshooting this error code. Inside here, you'll see details and general, and this will give you all the information you need. The first part of the code here is generally the error code that is kicking up, which is relevant to the blue screen that you've got there. So you can see here, if I copy this down, you would do a search for this inside Google. And this will then give you some sort of idea of what this is. You can also do other methods, which I'll show you in this video as well. So take note of that first error code there. And you can see it's going to save some information or the dump file inside Windows backslash memory dot DMP. So we can check that out as well. Now, looking inside the event viewer, this is going to give you quite a bit of information about when the event happened and stuff like that. So we know now it's to do with kernel power and we can see that it's event ID 41 and level critical and it happened at the same time when the crash happened and also the same date. And this is where you can cross reference all your information here so you can get some more information about it. So you wanna jot all this stuff down so you can find out whether it's a, a just a simple crash from some sort of software or whether it's some sort of driver issue or whether it's some sort of Windows issue, or whether it's even hardware issue, which is even the worst case scenario. If you search through your event uh, viewer logs here, you'll see there is another critical error here, and it gives us the kernel power 41, uh, 63, and it gives us some more information about the time and the date. And this happened at the exact time when that crash happened here. So this is all very useful information for you when you're troubleshooting uh, error codes or blue screen of death like these. So always write this information down. And this is the sort of critical information that uh, tech support or IT professionals are gonna be looking at when they're trying to find out what's causing uh, the blue screen of death. Now the problem that a lot of non-tech savvy people have is they will go searching around on the internet and they will end up trying a bunch of different fixes and make the problem worse. You need to quickly determine whether this is a software issue or i.e. driver issue, or whether it's a hardware issue. And that's really important. So do a search on Google first and have a little look around here to see whether there's some sort of useful information that you can use, which will give you some sort of idea whether this is related to a driver. Maybe it's a graphics driver issue, or maybe it's a sound driver, or something along those lines. If it is, then you can address that issue by checking in inside your device manager at your drivers and device drivers. So you can go inside here and take a little look inside device manager. And once you go in here, let's just use an example uh, like, uh, for instance, an audio driver here or something along those lines. So we can check and find out what's going on with our system. Now, a lot of people don't like to format windows and install windows. And this is another big key problem. 
people don't keep their PCs updated, the drivers get outdated and things like this, and this can cause blue screens of death. So you can see here, you can go inside the properties of an audio driver, say for instance, if this was the problem, and you can check the details for the driver date and the driver version to see whether this is an old driver. If it's an old driver, you can go to the motherboard manufacturer's website or the manufacturer of that hardware and download the latest drivers for that particular problem that you may be having. And this could resolve the issue that you're having here. Another thing you can do here is go back into the properties and driver tab and check driver details. This can give you information of the .sys files and .dll files. And if this is the error code that's showing up on the blue screen of death, because some blue screen of death will actually give you the actual file, which is causing the problem. And you can relate this to, say, for instance, a graphics driver or DirectX or whether it be audio drivers. And you can check a uh, driver device details here and find out which one is causing the issue. If it's an outdated driver or corrupted driver or something like that, you can uninstall it, update it, and then get it installed and stop that blue screen from happening. It's not going to be easy if you don't know what you're doing. And if you don't know what you're doing, you're probably best left to sending it to a PC repair shop. But if you want to continue trying to learn something about blue screen of death and how to fix them, then continue to watch the video. Now, you may be thinking, why don't I just reinstall Windows to solve the problem? The problem with that method is if it's a hardware related issue, then you're going to need to find out which piece of hardware is causing the issue. It could be as simple as a USB device you've got plugged in, which is, say, for instance, an old USB hub, or it could be some sort of hardware like audio device, or it could be an internal a piece of hardware like the hard drive or something like that that is failing and causing a blue screen and you'd need to change that out to stop the blue screens from happening if you want to check some information here you can go into the settings system and about and go inside here for system properties and look for startup and recovery inside here under the advanced tab you will be able to see the system failure options here you want to make sure that this uh, dump information is automatic memory dump. And you can change these options by using the drop down to make it complete memory dump and all these other things like uh, kernel uh, memory dump. What is dump files? Well, these are files that are created when a crash happens, and these are useful for uh, finding out what is actually going on with your system. If you want to see what the blue screen says, you can take out automatically restart and then click OK. And this will keep the blue screen on the actual computer monitor so you can see what it says and take a photo of it. And then you can restart your PC uh, normally. Otherwise, it will just completely restart with the blue screen once it reaches 100%. So where do these dump files go? Let's take a look inside our C root directory here. Inside here, we're going to go into our Windows directory. Once we go into our Windows directory here, let me just quickly click on this one here. And inside here, you will see a memory.dmp file. This is the first memory dump file that is created inside Windows, and it will be stored in this area here. So let me find it here. There it is. And this is the one here. This is our first dump file, 1.23 gigabytes, and this will be our memory dump file. Now, there's also another area inside here, inside a folder and it's created when we have system crashes and blue screens of death. It's called mini dump, and it's been around for a long time, and you can see it here. And this will create a bunch of files called uh, DMPs, and that they are, I've got numbers inside here, but there's all information inside here. So how do we read these files? You can see the date modified and date created, and these are crucial for detecting what that blue screen of death means. So let me show you basically how you can go about reading these files and quickly finding out uh, what the problem is. The first way to do it is looking at who crashed. This is a free piece of software you can download if you're a home user. It's free to use if you're a home user, but if you're an IT professional or a PC repair shop, you will need to purchase the professional edition. So you can see here, who crashed, and you can download the free home edition if you're just a home user and you want to quickly detect what it is. If you're a PC repair shop, I'll show you another way to look at these memory dump files to get a much more professional look at these, or you can buy the professional version of this.
Another one is Blue Screen View, which is another free tool which you can use if you're a home user to find out what's going on with your system and what these blue screens mean. You can download it right at the very bottom of the page here. This will give you some information. It will open up the dump files. So to do that, we need to install the software. So let's get the uh, who crashed on the uh, system here and get it installed so we can have a look at these dump files. So I'm going to open this one up and I'll show you another method, which is for IT professionals after this method. So let's have a quick look here. So we've got who crashed open. So we know the system's crashing and we know there's dump files inside here. What we can do is click on uh, the analyze button here. It's pretty basic uh, piece of software, but it does analyze the dump file for us. And you can see it's found a bunch of dump files. It would then put all this information in the documents down below. You can see here crash dump analysis. And the first one is reading inside the Windows mini dump area. And it's found this issue here. This problem caused by the following module, and it will give you the name of the module that's causing it. It will give you the error, which was on the blue screen. Now, also, you can read the other information here, uh, which is the bug check description. So once you start reading this information, you'll see what this comes down to and what is actually caused this crash dump. Now, because this is a test crash dump and I wanted to show you how it works, uh, basically, this is going to be a fake blue screen of death and it will detect this and say crash dump test so it knows it's actually a fake blue screen of death that I've created myself and it will give you the information but the the information here is going to be exactly the same if this was a real blue screen of death scenario so you can see here my fault dot syst is what's caused it and we can now see the error is driver IRQL no less or equal and this is the uh, error that was shown up on the screen. And you can see it's been created by SysInternals, my fault, which is obviously a Microsoft-based company. And it just helps me show you how to read and diagnose uh, blue screen dump files. So we now know that this information here would be crucial for troubleshooting. You would have other information here, which will be related to either graphics or hardware or software. And you can go out there and start troubleshooting your system. So I will show you another method here, which you can use to get information and help you troubleshoot uh, issues like this. Go over to the Microsoft Store and we're going to put in here WinDBG uh, and we need to look for the WinDBG preview. Click on this and get this uh, program installed on your system. Now, this is for more advanced uh, people and this is also for IT professionals where you want to troubleshoot uh, blue screens of death and trying to get as much information from those dump files as possible. So download this and get it installed on the system. It's free to use, but this is based towards uh, IT professionals, which is very useful. So click on the open button and you'll see something like this. Straight away, it's going to detect that we did have a memory dump file in here and it's going to say, do you want to read it? I'm going to say, yes, I do. And this will give us the information on another window here. So now we can see the information here about our memory dump file, and we can now go through here and read what this memory dump has given us. So inside here, you're going to get a bunch of information, and you're going to see a little area inside the window in the command window, which has a blue line here called Analyze. We can click on this, and this will analyze this dump file for us, and uh, give us some information about that. So it's going to analyze this file and straight away you can see the information has been given on the screen. So first off what we're looking for here is we're looking for the image name and this is going to be the actual uh, error that's come up here. So we can see the image name ntkrnlmp.exe that's the NT kernel that's crashed the system and you can see here, there's some other information, which is the process name that calls that crash. And it's called notmyfault64.exe. So now we know that is the culprit that's causing the issue. And this would be very easy to troubleshoot and diagnose. So this is the information that this memory dump file has given us to help us resolve issues with our computer. So if it was related to a graphics driver, it would be coming up in the same fashion as this, but you would then have the information about graphics drivers or whether it be uh, DirectX or something along those lines and you could then troubleshoot it further. 
So what I'm going to do now is open up a real mini dump file with a real known issue so you can see the difference in the information. So this is a, a sort of a fake mini dump file that I've done here. So I'm going to stop the debugging and we're going to open up another mini dump file here, which will then debug uh, this mini dump file, which has a real known issue. So let's open up the software again. And what we need to do here is if you have a separate mini dump file and you want to read these files, you can go up to the file name here and you can go to the open source file, open dump file right inside here. Once you've done this, you can open this and then uh, navigate to your uh, mini dump file that you have on your computer. And if your computer's uh, got, say, for instance, mini dump files, which you're trying to analyze for someone else, you can then go ahead and keep them on your desktop and open them from there. But if they're in the mini dump file on your computer, you can navigate to Windows mini dump and that's where they're uh, listed here. So let's open one of these ones here, which I've just put onto the system so we can take a look at them. So I'm going to let this uh, load up and then we'll analyze this and find out what is causing this issue with this mini dump. So we can take a look. So let's click on the analyze here and this will start to analyze here and find out what's going on with this one. So you can see here, this is page underscore full underscore in underscore non-paged underscore area 50 in brackets. So what this is going to do is debug the details of this mini dump. And it says reference the bad memory address. And you can see here, this is going to give us some information so we can read it. It's going to take a bit of time to debug it. And again, we can look inside here and we can see this is to do with the DirectX kernel. You can see DXGKRNL, and we can also see it's Windows 10 system. You can see the image name is DXGKRNL.sys, and that is the model name right there as well. And you can do a search for that as well. Image version, and we also have some other information on here as well. So if we look here, the uh, operating system version, it gives us the operating system version here, 64-bit Windows 10. And we can go up a little bit here, and it should tell us what the process name was. It's Firefox.exe. So it really does break it down and help you find out what these issues are and help you troubleshoot. And uh, this is going to be very useful for you uh, to help you troubleshoot these issues. So to troubleshoot this one, it would be pretty simple. You could start off with reinstalling your graphics drivers, uh, running DirectX diagnostic tool, and then also uh, uninstalling your browser and reinstalling uh, that as well. And of course, if this all doesn't help, you can also do a fresh install of Windows. And then basically, uh, if you still have issues after that fact, then you know it's going to be hardware related. It's a very quick and simple diagnosis to find out where the problem lies. But start off with your software related issues first and try to resolve those. And if all else fails, you can always install Windows. And this will definitely tell you whether it is a software or a hardware issue. And that is the quickest way to diagnose those. And then if it's a hardware issue, if it was this particular blue screen of death, you'd know it would be related to your, uh, your graphics card. And you can then troubleshoot your graphics card if it's something else. For instance, uh, uh, like a hard drive issue, you can then test your hard drive, see if there's bad sectors or anything like that to see whether the drive is failing. And you can do loads of other things depending on what your blue screen or your mini dump files are telling you. Anyway, I hope this information has been some sort of use to you. And I hope you've learned something from how to troubleshoot and how to diagnose a blue screen of death in Windows. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. Your names are rolling up on the screen right now. If you've got any other issues and you want to join our Discord server, we offer some free technical support over there. But be polite and hopefully we can help you resolve your issues. Anyway, have a great day and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now.